Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to a new tutorial of lecture for you today we are going to discuss exception handling basically exception is an unexpected events that occurs during runtime and disturb the normal execution of a program it is also called runtime error some examples of exception are divide by zero error access the element of array which is beyond the limit of array or any invalid input now here's our question rises how we can handle exception any exception can be handled by using simple methods by passing different attributes to them there are different type of standard mechanism which is used to handle the exception and some of them are as follows first one is a try catch through mechanism then we have multiple catch mechanism and catch all mechanism and rethrowing exception now look at try catch through mechanism in try catch through method try keyword is used to test a block of a statement which may generate exception this block is known as try block when an exception is detected it is thrown using the throw statement in the catch block the catch block catches the exception thrown by the try block and let you handle the exception here in the try catch through method syntax we have a try block which is checking for any exception and throw method throws integer object and at last we have catch method which will execute if the exception found multiple catch is applicable when there is a possibility that a program has more than one condition to throw an exception in multiple catch we can create multiple catch statement with a single try block when an exception is thrown exception handler search for an appropriate match it is possible that argument of several catch statement matches the type of an exception in such cases the first handler that matches the exception type is executed here we can see that try block catching for exception and thrown different exception on different condition and have multiple catch statement to catch multiple throws like caught a character caught an integer or caught a double in some situation we are not aware of all possible types of exception and therefore may not be able to design independent catch handler to catch them in such circumstances we can force a catch statement to catch all exception instead of certain type alone in catch all method syntax we can see that we have only one catch statement to catch multiple throw and shows caught an exception in rethrowing exception a handler may decide to rethrow the exception caught without processing it in such situation we may simply invoke the throw method without any argument as shows this causes the current exception to be thrown to the next enclosing try catch sequence and is caught by a catch statement listed after the enclosing try block here in the code we can see that try method test for exception and throws j which is caught by a by catch block and catch method rethrow it by using throw keyword these are the standard methods used for catching exception that's all for exceptional handling thanks for watching if you like the video please like share and subscribe lecture for you